You're listening to the Healthy Living with Diabetes podcast, sharing stories, and this is episode one. Every week we share tips and tricks on how to manage your diabetes, as well as personal stories from people just like you who have struggled to manage their illness in the past and have overcome those challenges. Diabetes is very common as one in 10 adults will be affected by it in their lifetimes. And we want you to know that you're not alone and there is hope. Tip of the week. This week's tip is taking a baby step. Making big lifestyle changes can be hard and overwhelming if you try to do it all at one time. So it's best to just think of one thing you can accomplish in a week to feel a sense of empowerment and motivation. Sharing stories. My name is John. I'm 67 years old and was healthy most of my life before my diagnosis. It happened really suddenly. I uh, passed down to a grocery store when I was shopping and the next thing I knew I was surrounded by paramedics uh, at the hospital. They said my blood sugar was over 600 and I was diagnosed with diabetes. It was, it was very frightening since I didn't really know how to manage my illness then. Not to mention the medical bills after the trip to the ER. It was a, it was a mess. After my diagnosis, I fell into a bit of a, a bit of a pit. I was blue. I didn't I didn't feel healthy. I didn't know how to get my blood sugar under control. I just I, I just kept on doing what I did. But but eventually I, I I went to counseling for my depression and and eventually I got so fed up with not getting my questions answered that I wanted to learn as much as possible and I, I just wanted to know what I could do about my illness and I found out that there were a lot of things that I could do so I could live a full life and be there for my grandkids and and my wife Judy and it's it's just something that I really value. I still enjoy cooking and eating sweets. I'm a huge fan of, you know, cream puffs. But now my wife uses substitutions like canola oil instead of butter and Splenda instead of sugar. And I can barely tell the difference. It's, it's great. I'm going to try to show my family that it's possible for them to live healthier too. Because, you know, we, we all ate the same thing. We, we weren't healthy. And that's, that's the beginning of my story. Thanks so much for sharing. And I wish you the best, John. This has been episode one of the Healthy Living with Diabetes podcast, sharing stories. Thanks for listening and be well.